Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil Evil Viking 13 here, and at long last, welcome back to a side quest adventure in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt here on PC. This video is main quest spoiler free. I am very carefully avoiding anything having to do with the main quest. However, it does contain a complete spoiler for the side quest following the thread. Additionally, you may see little bits of my inventory or other quests here and there, but for the most part, I've cut this video very carefully to avoid spoiling things for you guys so that you'll have the main quest and a lot of the same Witcher experience when you play this game. Which, of course, you should. It is fantastic. First things first, once I take care of this drowner problem blocking the road for the nearby villages, I'm going to head out to look for a notice board where I'll be able to find uh, monster contracts and basically people needing the help of a witcher. After all, I am a professional monster slayer. To start out this quest line, I'm going to head to Novigrad, the largest city in the game, and look for a, a job there. As usual in The Witcher 3, things aren't quite what they seem, and this thread kind of unravels in an unexpected way. It's a bit of a pun, but you guys will see. Let's go ahead and dive in. Got a windy, stormy day here. Oh, what is this? Got a bunch of Neckers and... Is that a ghoul too? No, I think it's just Neckers. I don't see any treasure or people in danger here, so I'm probably just going to leave these guys be. <laughs> we can spend all day fighting random monsters across the, uh, the swamps here. Whoa! Clever girl. That's what I thought. Alright, Roach, back here. <laughs> I'll go ahead and quick save too. I'll also show you guys what swords and armor I'm using right now. I'm currently using the feline armor. Uh, it is Witcher armor from the Witcher School of the Cat. Uh, Geralt of Rivia here is, of course, from the Wolf School. This game has tons of unique and interesting swords, and the two that I have right now, uh, my silver sword for monsters, is Moonblade. And it's got a ton of bonus effects, as well as three runes that I've attached to it here. It's very good at freezing enemies and at critical hits. For my steel sword for humans, it's a uh, Spikerug longsword from the Skellig Isles. It's plus 55 armor piercing, and then um, plus 75% critical hit damage bonus, and then one more rune for plus 20 armor piercing. Got a dancing star bomb and a devil's puffball uh, bomb as well. Okay, Roach. Run, Roach. Let's keep moving this time. So, seeing last time, I did a contract out in the swamps of Velen. This time, I'm heading to the free city of Novigrad, one of the largest cities in the game, to find a contract. It's in a bit more of a built-up area. Let's see, which gate should I go for here? I'll just go for this one. I'm gonna pass this dwarven patrol here. An elf's honor worth less than a man's shit. What's going on here? It's Camomile. And go for it. She broke teas for stomach pain. Aha! So she did make potions. Drew make a nut. Her father tested Potions? Are you mad? Sounds like these guys are being accused of being alchemists, maybe? 
Can I help them? What do you see here, stranger? Okay, I guess they were they were barred from entering the city first for being elves because in general the temple guard and most humans are racist against elves and non-humans, but it also sounds like they accuse the daughter there of um, concocting potions. Out of the way. Slow now. Whoa. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? The kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So's we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Huh. Well, this is new. I was here just a few days ago, and the city was not on lockdown. Sorry. Don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further, then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we Not your concern. Back to your post. Hello. What is this? Regards from Siggy Reuven. Ah. One of the underworld bosses here in Novigrad, in the forest who me. owed me a favor, at least a seems to have gotten my papers in order for me. Wild hunt take you all. Oh. <laughs> what a mess. Another drift of in from Tamaria. I praise you with all my heart. Not so fast, Roach. We two children, how am I? How are they? We are in Go before they lose their mother as well. Man. Sounds like Take they're rounding easy. people up. Hey, you! Yes, you! You got water on the brain! Evil's fountainhead! Let's just keep moving here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave Roach here. I'm heading over to the notice board at the docks. That should have a job for me, I'm pretty sure. Ah, here we go. Novigrad Dockside Notice Board. <laughs> A notice about uh, Vimy Vivaldi being a cheat at Gwent. A few other notices of swindlers. Not a lot going on here, actually. Let's um, let's keep looking. Perhaps at the notice board in the square. Ah, book burnings, the sign of reasonable people everywhere. <laughs> what on earth? What do we have here? A whole day wasted. Contract. Monster in the Bits. By order of the City Council, a reward has been set aside for the killing of the monster which torments and murders residents of the Bits, which is a district of Novigrad, after dark. Requires a trophy from the monster's body. Okay. Following the thread. 
let's double check and make sure that this is uh, on our level. Okay, it's actually way below our level, so we're not going to get any XP from this. And it's probably going to be a bit easy, but it should be a fun side quest, so let's go check it out. Go talk to the supervisor is our next stage. <laughs> wow. Bailiff's a harsh man. Best not cause any trouble and be a sick of it. You all just get off my back. <laughs> I trusted a woman once, long ago. I was willing to give me right hand for her. He's Show us what you bring in. He's lived in virtue. Shall find wool for the fire. There's witch hunters at every single gate. Looks like we're heading just outside of the city to a Novigrad guard post. Got an ad for a school there. That's pretty cool. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he... Uh... Supervisors. <laughs> exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. <laughs> Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the body. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Okay. Thanks. So long. Let's go investigate the signs of uh, that attack. He said it's at the shed back here. Yep, here we are. I love how there's no interior load screens in The Witcher. You just march right in. And you can actually still see outside too. It's pretty nifty. So what do we have here? First, let's loot. <laughs> Part of our contract. I think. Hmm. Not the marks of a garcane or a flutter. Those are some huge paw prints. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. How did a beggar wound a monster? Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Ooh. A lesser vampire. Maybe it's good that I'm leveled a bit higher than I should be for this quest. A mind's like war. I never know when you're done for. Seems like it had lost some strength. 
was sneaking along the shoreline. Mouth's dry as a stockfish. Wonder if they're harvesting sand for maybe brick making or something. What was it happened to Faltus again? Or wait, no. I think they're shoring up this side of the village, actually. That's what it looks like. Lots of uh, human-built earthworks here. Let's get back on trail. What's going on there? What's your business? Carry on. Tracks end here. Ought to look for prints on the other side. I could swim, but there's a boat right here. see anything yet. Wait, wait, here we go. A dead rat. Rat corpses. Not a drop of blood left in him. Gotta be an Ekimara. Uh. Ekimara came out of the water here. Gotta look for more tracks. So now that we're pretty sure what the creature is, we can check our bestiary. Um, let's see here. Vampires. Ekimara. Um, they are post conjection monsters that have no particular feelings about garlic, holy water, or religious symbols. They're pretty horrifying looking. They should be fought with a silver sword, and they can regenerate health. Um,. We need to use our Igni sign against them, which is our fire sign. Vampire oil, if we have it. And Devil's Puffball, which I think I already have equipped. Let's check that. Yeah, Devil's Puffball. And I'll go ahead and get an actual Witcher's uh, Swallow Potion as well. For my vitality. And do we have Vampire Oil? Ah, we actually don't. Do I have the materials to craft it? I actually don't have the recipe, but that should be okay because we are quite a few levels over the suggested level for this quest. Oh, I hear it. Let's go ahead and get our Quinn shield up. Then prepare Igni. Give her a devil's puffball. There we go. Nothing but poison back there now. That wasn't too bad. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? 
far as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. <laughs> the matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kind of in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? <laughs> Join you for that later. Wait up for me. Fine, but try not to take too long. Know where the supervisor has his office? Yeah, had a chat with the guardsman outside it. See you there. Alright, so we're getting half the reward at least, and we got to see Lambert. A fellow witcher from the school of the wolf. One of the few that are left. I'm gonna clear this place out to you. <laughs> Probably a good thing that no one was at the storehouse at that time of night last night. Nothing like a wounded and angry vampire kicking in your door. Okay. I've taken enough there. Let's head back across the way here. Managed to knock a chunk out of my boat here. Come on, wind, cooperate. I guess technically it's not my boat, so oh well. Closer. Come on, wind, cooperate. Oh. Yep, I have definitely damaged this boat. <laughs> hey, I'm a witcher. Not. A boat captain. We do have one final task. It's time to meet up with Lambert and collect our reward. Let's collect our reward. Hmm, coin. So, what do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. Hmm. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper! Where's Yad Keridan? Asking you for the last time! Guards! To the dungeon with them! What is going on here? Oh, thanks, Lambert. <laughs> I don't have to kill these guys, but I think I might have to. Ah! 
Ow. All right now. Let's end this. Let's go ahead and get Quinn up, seeing I got outnumbered there. Sorry, friend. Lambert, where did you go? This guy's more trouble than the Yakimara. The Karadins disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Ooh. You crazy? What the hell are you doing? I can explain everything. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah, see you later. Well, it looks like the vampire was, uh, just a side note for this quest. I'm gonna go ahead and drink a swallow potion. Get my health back up. And then, of course, take everything not nailed down. Can I just sneak out the front here? Nice and casual like? I can. Nope. That's the back courtyard. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Well, I guess we'll see where this is going once we meet up with Lambert at that inn. I think instead of heading directly to the inn, I'm gonna head uh, kind of off to the side and then back around. It's a bit dim in here. Where's Eustace? It was him always all the corpses. Right, we did. Plenty more to all now, so we worked shifts. Crematory's fire laws day and night. Good. See needs cleaning. And steel and fire. If you want it clean, let me pass. I've got shit and pass leaking from me wagon. Oh, aye. Right away. Fine mess you made. Back there at Loch Marine. Look awfully suspicious to me. Tram. This one's still breathing. Aye, it is. Let it. Some still breathe as I toss it in the fire. All of us say we've got living souls to leave without heart. You can wait till it dies. Looks like they're even hassling people who are cleaning up dead bodies from their own funeral pyres. Or I guess execution pyres, technically. This should be our destination just up here, the Seven Cats Inn. What is over here? More drowners. They're awfully close to the end, so I'm going to take these guys out real quick.
I see one more lurking back there. takes care of that. Here we go. The inn is just over here. Alright, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, you're fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. Far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway... Some of the Duke's courtiers had designs, weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden, murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader, and the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry hmm. about your friend. Don't need your sympathy, just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now, let's go. Vienne. What do you want? We want to see Yad Keridin. <laughs> now why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. Be smart about this. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town news has changed. Keridan's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me. Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund, 
but they've scattered all over the world. Sillies went to Tretigal, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund... Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. Well, you've only Hammond or Sillies to talk to you then. This Salise, where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigal, the kind rich men frequent. Who suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Salise always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Carradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt Salise. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Salise. Don't go looking for Caradin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. <laughs> As for you... No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Arseholes. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Salise. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where'll we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Well, here's where things get very interesting. We have to head outside of Velen, which is the region that we're in now, to the Skellige Isles. And that means we have to go to a harbor and find a boat. Looks like we're heading to this small island off the coast. Well guys, I guess we're in for a uh, bit of a grand adventure here. Let's go find some transportation. And I believe that we had found a captain uh, here at the, uh, what is this, the Golden Sturgeon. Be a hero, give us 
the case. Earlier in my questing, I had come across this man who claims to be a captain. I'll need uh, 5,000, or not 5,000, 1,000 gold. I've got almost 5,000. That uh, should be okay. You're back. Got the coin. Here, that enough? Mm, hefty sack, like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes <laughs> the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my atropos. Anchors away. And away we go, off to find a co-conspirator in the murder of a witcher. Pirates. It's hard to tell who is who. Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dying. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing Clan on Crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Thanks. So long. Alright guys, well I skipped some of the uh, dialogue choices there because there were some the main story spoilers. We've gotten some directions though. And here we are on the uh, Skellige Isles. It looks like a lot of my fellow crewmates have not fared well for this journey. 
I see a crate though. Oh, twine and iron ore. Well, uh, let's stay on task, I guess. Wow, what a vista. That is beautiful. So I need to go where exactly? I need to go... Oh, man. Way in the southeast, I think? Here we are. Yes, indeed. Way to the southeast. So, avoiding main quest line spoilers, I need to ride for a ship. I'll go for one in the harbor over here. That should be a nice trot across land. And then just a quick hop across the ocean. <laughs> There's a lot of loot to come back for. Oh my. I'm going to save you guys some grief though, because I can be here for a long time going through all of that. Let's go ahead and get moving, stay on task. This is going to be a long one. Well guys, that's going to be it for part one of this quest. Part two will be the completion of it, and it should be uploaded just in the next few days here. As always, thank you guys for watching, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll catch you guys on that next video.